So this question says, Lonnie spent 15% of her eight hour workday in meetings. So I'm gonna treat this like a translate word problem question. Because when I read that first sentence, I know that I can figure out exactly how much time this represents, right? So 15% of eight hours, basically, can be um, converted into or translated into a mathematical equation by, first of all, t turning this 15% into its decimal equivalent, which is 0 0.15. The word of means times, which I'll just use parentheses, and then eight, of course, so 0 0.15 times eight. And because this is the calculator section of the test, I can actually just throw that into my calculator and see that 0.15 times eight is equal to 1.2, and the unit is still hours, so 1.2 hours. The next part of the sentence says, how many minutes of her workday did she spend in meetings? Okay, so then I can automatically see that this 1.2 is a trap answer, so you don't forget that units matter. Okay, so this 1.2 hours is true, but I don't want hours, I want minutes, and it, they actually underline it for you just to help you not make the mistake of choosing choice A here. So I'm going to multiply this by a conversion factor that says for every one hour, we have 60 minutes. This gets rid of the unit hours, introduces the unit minutes, which is what I want. So I just have a little bit of math to do, which is 60 times 1.2, which is 72. So the answer is 72 minutes. And therefore, the correct answer here is choice D.